I'm a cartoonist, and I do a political comic strip called Dry Bones, and I've been doing it uh, this coming January 2013 will be exactly 40 years. What's unique about Dry Bones is that it is a political comic strip. When I started it in January 73, a uh, comic strips were a, a strip of cartoon, like a, uh, an entertaining little movie, and editorial and political cartoonists did one panel metaphors. I came to Israel in 71, and, and I saw that there wasn't much going on in the cartoon world, so I decided to do a comic strip, but here, how could it not be political? So Dry Bones became the first political comic strip. Shortly after Dry Bones started, Doonesbury started. So in the American cartoon world, I'm known as the cartoonist who started it. But on the other side of the world, in the sticks, so nobody knows him. Does uh, your uh, character have a name? My main character is Mr. Schuldig. Schuldig means guilt in Yiddish. And when I came to Israel, I recognized that with all the problems, there was no one who would accept the blame. So I decided I should create a character who would accept the blame and say, I'm guilty, which in Yiddish is Ich bin Schuldig. So his name is Mr. Schuldig. Now what kind of Israel do we see through the eyes of uh, Mr. Schuldig? Problematic, uh, good, optimistic, where are we holding? Well, I am a short-term pessimist, long-term optimist. So uh, Mr. Schuldig looks at things right now and crabs about what's wrong but underlying, uh, he knows what the end of the story is because uh, the Dry Bones cartoons are called Dry Bones because of my having gotten entangled with the book of Ezekiel and the vision of the Dry Bones rising from the dead. And how is that? Like, what, what is the, the message, the, maybe the, the deep message that you want to convey with the name? Well, the deep message is that uh, bizarrely, See, I'm not religious, so if I was religious, it would be easy. Since I'm secular and modern and scientific, the fact that uh, some Israeli 2,700 years ago wrote a book explaining what's happening every day in the world and the ingathering of the Jews and the isolation and the rebuilding and the wars and the, everything is all laid out, it's... Uh, it's very difficult to understand from a secular point of view. So what I'm doing in Dry Bones is simply filling in the pieces that Ezekiel didn't have time to tell us. So in his vision, he didn't tell us about rude bus drivers and, uh, and a post office that doesn't function. So I deal with that part of it. Who do you really want the messages to reach? Is it the people in Israel, the, the government, maybe people abroad, maybe everyone? I want to reach our enemies. Uh, most cartoonists, uh, they're, uh, they're in attack mode. You know, they go after someone and then say, oh, well, he got him today. Well, what good is it throwing darts at the enemy? What I want to do is I want to seduce the people who are anti-Zionist so that when they laugh at a joke, they will, for that moment, see it from my point of view. For example, I was just in China, brought over as a scholar by an Israeli uh, uh, NGO called Signal. I was brought over as a scholar to go around in China speaking at different universities. And I was uh, at one place where there were a group of, uh, we met with former uh, Chinese ambassadors to the Middle East. And they were very rough on Israel. and. Uh, I told them a, a joke, which I had done as a Dry Bones cartoon. And that is, I said to them, you know, the Syrians don't believe in land for peace. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, if they believed in land for peace, they'd give up the Golan Heights and we would give them peace. And they all roared with laughter. Because for that moment, when they laughed at that Dry Bones joke cartoon, we all understood that it wasn't land for peace, 
that it was that the Syrians wanted the land. My goal in Dry Bones is to make people laugh. When the news is so horrendous that I can't get a laugh out of it, then I figure I failed. People who want to see my stuff should go to drybonesblog.com and there you'll be able to see cartoons five days a week, three new cartoons, and two golden oldies. So you'll see stuff from the uh, bad old days. And now uh, you're uh, receiving a, an important uh, award. Tell us about that. Apparently, the uh, Israel Cartoon Museum, which is a really lovely place in Cholon, and I recommend people to go there, it's fascinating, has decided to award me the Golden Pencil. Uh, I don't know why, but it's apparently for my life's work. And uh, my hope is that there is, in fact, a pencil uh, connected with this award, and I hope it's golden, and I hope it works. One of the most exciting developments in my life as a cartoonist is the fact that I've just become involved with something called the Dry Bones Project. You can go to drybonesproject.com, drybonesproject.com. And there you'll see where I'm setting up to uh, bring the ancient civilizations of the Jews and the Chinese together through a series of cartoon works. And I, uh, uh, I've been working with uh, Chinese uh, uh, university professors and experts, and this should be something very interesting, which uh, uh, I haven't told anybody about yet until now. Drybonesproject.com. <laughs>